This story is sponsored by Robinson Community College. Thank you so much for joining me. It's such a great, great privilege to be here again at Robeson College and to talk about the EMS program here. Mr. Kenny Lacalier, it's good to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Good to have you here. Thank you. So tell me about the program. So our program uh, is a continuing education. We call it CE uh, for short. So our students can come in and get a certificate. And what that allows that student to do is to go to work. A lot of our students are adults that have bills to pay and, and life responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So that gets them working quicker. So our base program is EMT, Emergency Medical Technician, and that's the foundation for all the other certificates. So that program, we offer it in day format, night format, and online format, just to meet those needs of those folks juggling different schedules. So we also offer two more uh, certification programs here, advanced EMT. Uh, some students don't want to go straight to, to uh, medic level. They want to uh, get some experience at a lower level, so they go to advanced. And advanced EMT allows that student to do IVs, uh, innovations, they can uh, actually put a tube down on a patient's throat and administer a few more medications um, that that patient may need. And then we all also offer, of course, the permit, which is the, the large class. And we also have a bridge program here okay. that uh, once students are, have completed their paramedic training and they're working in the field as a paramedic, when they get a thousand hours of, of what we call patient contact time, then uh, they can bridge over to get an associate's degree in applied science. And the bridge program is an online program, so it's very uh, suitable for those uh, students that are working. Uh, and our, work, our workforce are, you know, they're demanding those medics. They're, they're in high demand, they're need, needed uh, everywhere, especially since COVID has hit. Mm -hmm. So we really try to, to offer classes that will fit basically anyone's schedule if that's what they want to do. So the students get hands-on experience and they come out ready to work from the program? They are. We, we consider them entry level, so uh, experience is a key and so they'll gain more experience as they work, but they are ready to go to work once they complete our program. Um, they can go to work in any EMS agency, any uh, volunteer agency or rescue squad uh, that runs EMS service, so that they're ready to go. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Tell me about the apprenticeship program. I mean, it's been great to hear so much about it so far, but I would love to hear your thoughts. The apprenticeship program is a, it's basically, it's an agreement between the college, the employer, and the state of North Carolina with the North Carolina Apprenticeship Program through the community colleges. It is a anywhere from a two to a five year program. It usually aligns itself with a particular program that we teach at the college and again with the industry nearby. So they get paid for that. And the state of North Carolina waives their tuition, so they get automatic free tuition. So it's a really, for us, it's a win-win-win. As we win as a college, because we're getting students and getting them trained, the company wins because they're getting employees they get to kind of bring in slowly and build them up and develop them into the ideal employee. And then the student is gonna gain because not only are they getting that on-the-job training, they're getting the training here at RCC, but they're getting free tuition too. So there's no debt and um, they go out 87% actual of students who start the apprenticeship program in the state of North Carolina stay with the company when once they finish the apprenticeship. So that's a phenomenal number and that's a lot higher than what you would normally see when you just hire people and bring them in. The students love being a part of the apprenticeship program. I yes, was noticing that. Yeah, we've signed three new apprenticeships, uh, Robinson EMS, Lumberton EMS, and then Met One just in the last few months. And we've got six students now that are going into the apprenticeship program through that program. So they're with our EMT program and, and becoming a paramedic. So they get to do what they were doing anyway, because all of them are usually working there. But now they're getting paid and they're getting that free tuition. Wonderful. Well, what would you say to an employer who is kind of considering partnering with you in the apprenticeship program and bringing one of the students over to them? Well, I would tell them to reach out to me. They'll have my contact information. <laughs> but basically, let's get started on that situation. This story is sponsored by Robinson Community College.